I think we've put out two videos showcasing pouring exposed aggregate concrete. Our front and back porches both have this finish. Exposed aggregate is not as expensive as some decorative finishes like stamped concrete for example, but it does add several steps to the whole process. As it turns out, there are three more steps that were not shown in those two videos, but are absolutely critical if you want the product to look like it looked when you washed it off on poor day. We need that wash. I tell you what, we couldn't afford it. Now don't be in a hurry to do these things. Let some time go by after the pour and before you get back on it. At least three days. At least three days and a week is better. One of the things that is happening while you wait and as the concrete is getting harder is that calcium salts are migrating to the surface of the concrete with the water vapor that's finding its way out. This is what gives the concrete a whitish chalky color and in extreme cases it's what is known as efflorescence. In our situation on exposed aggregate concrete it obscures the beauty of the rocks and needs to be completely done generating and migrating to the surface before you remove it. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see it with this little camera but the stealth fiber that we put in the mix is somewhat kind of balled up on the surface and some of it is actually embedded so the first thing I have to do before I acid wash this is go over this with a weed burner and burn off this little nylon fiber that's sticking up out of the mix Second, remove the chalky appearance at the surface with muriatic acid. Like I mentioned, the water vapor that migrates to the surface as the concrete cures brings soluble calcium salts along with it. When those salts are exposed to carbon dioxide, they form calcium carbonate, which is insoluble and has a pH of around 9. The only way to remove this stuff is to neutralize it with an acid. So muriatic acid is readily available, you know, both as a masonry cleaner, I mean, they sell it for that purpose, and as a pool acid. This stuff is actually an impure and pretty severely diluted hydrochloric acid, and it has a pH of between 1 and 2. It's not too much different than the acid in your stomach, but it's still nothing to play around with. I dilute it down from the strength out of the bottle, to about a 25% acid solution. Now there are three things to be aware of. You gotta pre-wet the concrete a little bit before you hit it with the acid. You've gotta use plenty of the acid solution and you've gotta rinse it off thoroughly, and I mean thoroughly, well before it dries. Because if it dries in place, it leaves a nasty green stain. Okay.
So you're already probably screaming at your television screen, but let me just own this. This is just one more example of my getting all ready to work on one project and then seeing an opportunity to tackle another project. And then once I'm committed, I discover that the right safety gear was safely stowed somewhere else. Sorry. It's bad form. Like I've said before, just think of me like a doctor who smokes. But you, however, have to wear eye protection, gloves, and a respirator when you're working with this stuff. The third and final step when you're working on your piece of exposed aggregate concrete is that as soon as it is perfectly dry, and I mean perfectly dry, it's time to seal it up. It's never going to be cleaner than it is right now. And if it gets dirty, you're going to have to wash it all down again and then let it dry. So get on it as soon as it's dry the first time. Use whatever good quality wet look sealer is available in your area and be sure to follow the instructions. But having said that, on this stuff, I spray on a really heavy coat and then back roll it with a high nap roller. Now I used to pour quite a bit of stamped concrete, but I guess my tastes have changed. I like best, now, a material that is not posing as something other than what it actually is. And nothing says beautiful concrete quite like a nice exposed aggregate. Thanks for watching Essential Craftsman, and keep up the good work. <laughs>